Starting on pole is Luke Russell. Second will be Jordan Holmes, finished third in Cartmasters last year in the WTP Cadet Class. Ryan Singleton makes his second appearance in the Championship. Liam Morley just back from injury, broke his wrist three months ago. Ross Anderson starts five, Tom Durbridge from six, Ryan Longley for focal point on seven, Matt Isherwood drives the plum base cart from eight. Then comes Matt Gibson on nine, Joe Charlton starts P10. The top five in the Championship are Josephine Ferrada, Sinead Gress, Roy Anderson carrying the onboard camera. He's cart number three. Cart number two is Joe Bullen, the championship leader, the internationally famous. James Theodore, rough and running. Minimax for 80s, 11 to 16. That is if you can make the weight at 16. And uh, we're through turn one. On board with Roy Anderson. That is the championship leader, James Theodore. Down to turn three, the hairpin. Singleton up the inside of Russell. Bit of contact. Uh, Theodore and uh, Anderson, Roy Anderson that is, not Ross Anderson, Ross Anderson 16. The Singleton goes up the inside of Russell again, more contact, and he's still not through to the lead. 25 carts is uh, Jordan Holmes, finished third as I said earlier in Kart Masters last year in the WTP Cadet Class. As we see Singleton finally through to the lead and Ross Anderson follows him through. Gibson loses his back end there, we're back on board here with Roy Anderson. And Anderson has lost a good 20 metres there, he's had to hit the brakes to stop himself running into the back of... Josephine Ferrada and that has slowed him down and the progress of the championship leader as well Joe Bullen on cart two has made a cracking start he's got a uh, good three carts between himself and Anderson but more importantly he's got about 35 metres as we see James Theodore championship leader up the inside of Anderson back on board with Anderson now who slips in behind Theodore the uh, don't forget if you are new to this championship the numbers on the carts denote the championship positions of each of the drivers in each of the classes. So carts five and six there, Josephine Ferrada and Joe Charlton. They are fifth and sixth respectively in the championship. Ferrada just getting the best of that battle there. That's cart 16, it's Ross Anderson. Singleton has already checked out in front. He's got a good 20 metres. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. Ross Anderson there in second place. He's got a good 20, 25 metres over the rest. Anderson in second to Morley in third, 1.41 seconds. This is Liam Morley's first race back since he broke his wrist in the club championship here at Three Sisters back in April. So uh, good performance so far by Morley, but he gets deposed there, a spot by Joe Bullen, who just sweeps up the inside of the left-hander there. The Theodore here, championship leader, is stuck well back down the field at the moment. This is not his normal sort of start that you see from James Theodore. He will normally make up half the field in the first lap. Not today, as we see Gress going outside of Jordan Holmes, but that's allowed Bullen down the inside, and Bullen does the pair. Gress and Holmes alike, and uh, Morley goes through with uh, Bullen as well. So good performance here by Liam Morley. Hits at a hairpin. Will he look up the inside? Not quite. He has a think about it, but nothing more than that. Gibson's back end is very tail happy today. He was uh, sliding wide there through the hairpin, as indeed he th did through the uh, right-hander uh, through Luna Bend earlier on. That is uh, Matt Gibson on the seven cart. Up the inside of Jordan Holmes goes the championship leader. Anderson on board with him. He goes with him. Eight, the eight cart in front of Theodore is Matt Isherwood. Joe Bullen, cart two, second in the championship. He's got five carts between himself and James Theodore, and that's the way he'd like it to stay until the end of the race. I don't think he'll get that wish, but uh, he certainly needs to put a lot of carts between himself and Theodore. There's only one championship point for every position on the track. So uh, five carts between, uh, well, it was five carts. Make that three carts as Morley sweeps up the inside of Bullen. Gress tries to go with him, but uh, Bullen retains the inside line through the right-hander. That is Liam Morley, age 13 from Carnforth in Lancashire. This is his first race back since breaking his wrist in the club meeting on the 23rd of April, as I said earlier, and Isherwood deposes Roy Anderson. And Gibson uh, just tags the back of Bullen as we rejoin it. Theodore is right onto the back of Bullen now. Back on board with Anderson, who's now following Josephine Ferrari. He'll push her through down the straight. On the outside is Gibson as they come down into turn one. Oh, Alan, Joe is slowing. Joe is slow out of the first corner and he's slowed right up. Hand in the air, white flag out. He's out of the race. Joe Bullen is out of the race. Out of the race and out of the championship as well. Joe Bullen retires into Park Ferme and no doubt Sam will add to his misery by sticking a microphone 
in his face as soon as he jumps out of the cart. Back on board with Anderson, and Anderson is losing places all over the place. He's making places and then losing them. He's just another, lost another one to Ferrada, and then to Gibson in the one turn. So it's a very mixed bag for Ryan Anderson so far. You can see Sinead Gress there tucking in the seat, hands on top of the wheel. It's called the puppy dog in the trade. 41.833 for Ryan Singleton is a new lap record. Sam? Alan, I've just bumped into John Stewart, who's actually supporting Sinead Gress. Sinead is absolutely flying today. Has this got anything to do with you? We were both testing here yesterday and she was flying then. But uh, I had to give her a few uh, tips for the, for the race today and now she's going even better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, I take all the credit. Stuart there talking about Sinead Gress, who chops off James Theodore's nose as they come down into the left-hander in the first part of Luna. Look at Liam Morley. Great performance by Liam, by Liam Morley after uh, breaking his wrist a few months ago. Isherwood has made his way past Anderson now. He's having a real mixed bag. Is Roy Anderson third in the championship currently as we get a quick look at the details for Matt Isherwood. Ben, you wanted to say something? A little bit of a, a, an update on Sinead Gress, is it sort of Sinead Gress day today? She's lying in third position and she's really struggling out of the hairpin at the bottom end of the circuit. Uh, she can't get her foot down, she can't get acceleration out of there. And, um, and James Theodore attacking her and then she having to go defensive for the rest of the lap. So uh, in fact she's just lost a position to James Theodore now and so she's down to fourth position. Well, Sam's caught up with Joe Bullen. Joe, you've just come into the pits, what's happened? Um, throughout the race we were losing speed and then as, as we come out the first corner, I think the clutch is just broken or blown up or something. So we just had to come in. It was just slipping and wouldn't go at all, move anywhere. Yeah, miserable day for Joe Buller, not for that young man though. 23, Ryan Singleton, his second appearance in the Championship. First appearance was last month. Of course, he gets the advantage of going off the front of the grid compared to the drivers that have been doing the full Championship. Championship leaders have to start last in this series, of course. And there is Singleton going across the line. That's a miserable performance in the celebration stakes. I can only score that a, well, a zero for originality and uh, a one for enthusiasm. Ryan Singleton, the mighty midget, is going to have to work on those celebration skills as Theodore comes across in third place. Ross Anderson, it is, has taken second. Well, clear in second place he was too. Let's check the official results and coming out the final turn there, Sinead Gress has just deposed Matt Gibson for a place. She's finished in sixth place. So Singleton takes the win and the fastest lap with a new lap record. It was James Theodore's lap record, not anymore, 41.849. Ross Anderson in second, Theodore third, followed in by Roy Anderson, Ferrada, Gress, Gibson, Isherwood, Liam Morley. Good performance, finished ninth in, ninth in the end, but a good comeback drive for him. And Jordan Holmes, tenth. I'm here with the top three in Minimax, James Theodore in third. Nice to see you again, a regular visitor to the podium. And Ross Anderson, we haven't seen you up here before, so congratulations. Ryan Singleton, you had your second appearance on the podium, obviously second last month. And this month you've taken the win, the fastest lap, and lap record? Uh, yeah, I didn't get the best of slaps after the race, um, but as I was trying to get past the leader, he was defending me, so I struggled a bit trying to get past him. But then when I got past him, I just got my head down and pushed and managed to get the lap record, which I didn't really realise I was pushing that hard and then just took the victory. Quick check of the championship positions reveals that James Theodore now has a 21 point championship lead and he could tie up this championship before the last round. Anderson's up to second, Gress to third. Junior Rotax for the 13 to 16s next and with the championship lead changing hands in each of the last two rounds, can Scotland's Joe McKean hang on to it? After the break, we'll be asking him exactly that. See you then. <laughs> 